Welcome back to the Integrative Health Coach Success Podcast. This is episode 222. For all of the show notes and the three big takeaways, head on over to ihp.coach forward slash 222 for all the details. Today, I want to share with you something that, in my opinion, you should be putting on your website, talking about online, and even breaking them up into individual points on a daily basis. There are five main points that I want to share with you about what health coaching can do for your clients. Because here's the thing. The health industry and coaching-based industry is slated. This is what they put the number at. I don't even know how to fathom this number. But they say by the year 2030, which is just, what, like six, seven years away uh, at the time of this recording, it's going to be a $26 billion industry. And that, to me, when you look at that, not nutritional supplements, not exercise gadgets, we're talking about the overall coaching, gyms, personal trainers, like the services-based industry. It's such an enormous number. And so health coaches all the time are saying, you know, is there any room left in this industry? And I also like to share with them the other stat that there are 3 billion people online currently working towards another billion people within the next couple of years. Now, if we take away a third of them, uh, like for, for children, although you could work with their parents, right? You're looking at like, 2 billion people that you could work with, right? Because people have health issues. That's the unfortunate issue with being a human, is that if you spend enough time in this world, you eventually end up with some type of ailment, digestive, hormonal, headaches, skin issues, low mood, low libido, poor exercise tolerance, you name it, right? Like there is an issue and you can specialize in that. So now if we have... 2 billion possible clients, and then guess what? There's only 110 to 120,000 total health coaches in the entire world, and all, all of them do virtual coaching. So now you even bring the number down, right? When I was in Boston and I had my two practices, my two clinics, I only work with people in Boston. Then around the year 2012, we started doing some Skype work with people. And now, of course, it's much more advanced. But a lot of people just still do in person. So the number keeps going down and down. But here's the thing. People, when asked, would you work with a health coach? They said, yeah, probably. And then they asked, what's stopping you from working with a health coach? They said, one, I don't know where I would find one. And two, I don't exactly know what they do and what they'd help with. Right? So those were huge questions. Now, we in our industry, we know what we do, right? But if you think about it, it's funny, like when you're growing up and you're like, what does your mom do? What does your dad do? You kind of have an idea, but you don't really know what it is that they do, right? That's how people think about the health coaching industry. So, what we need to do is actually share with them what it is that we do. And so, you want to share that online. I can help you with. And we're going to go through those items to, uh, through those items today. And then what you're going to do is then just modify it for your niche. All right. So I'm going to share that with you right now. Let's get into it. I'm going to give you five. There's, of course, more. I would love to hear your additional ones that you share with your clients and you make part of your online virtual packages or in person uh, in the comments. So if you want to leave a comment below with what you do, that would be amazing. All right. The first one is this. A health coach can improve your nutrition. Now, immediately I get pushback saying like, well, I can't create uh, nutrition plans in my state, country, district, whatever, right? I get it. I understand. But here's the thing. There are apps. There are places like IHP that you can give people those plans as part of your practice that have been created by licensed registered dietitians right? So that you are giving something that's been created by a registered dietitian. And that takes the worry away from you about what you are doing. And also, you can always bill it as this is a sample meal plan, which is always what we do. We don't, I used to back in the day, tell people, this is what I want you to do for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. These are your snacks. Every single day, lay out the whole plan. I did that literally. And I did it for 21 days. So, because I, I, people need to just be like, ah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I just gave them the plan and I gave them the shopping list and it worked phenomenally well. But what we do now is we give them a shopping list, choose a protein, 
vegan, uh, pescatarian, paleo, etc. Choose one or two vegetables. Choose a healthy fat. If wanting to maintain weight or gain weight, choose a starch. Like all of that's there. And so they get to then create their own meal plan based on quantity amounts as well. Better than having to measure food, right, on a scale. Better than having to count points. You're empowering them. So a good health coach, because I find it impossible. I don't know how you could possibly help someone improve their overall health without changing their diet. I, I, don't, I don't know how that's possible. So you, you, a person can just eat whatever they want, and then there's somehow their health's going to change? Really challenging. So a health coach helps improve your nutrition. And I would even say can help tailor it more towards your specific goals. So let's just use a couple examples from other IHPs. You're helping uh, menopausal women dial in their nutrition, right? You're helping men over 40 regain muscle, like wh whatever it is that you want for your niche. I help children uh, with ASD find the right foods for their gut. All right, so we're just we're just customizing the nutrition a bit more for them. And again, you can always use it based on apps and programs and all that good stuff. All right, the second is that there has to be a movement component. So a health coach will help you find the right movement plan for you. Could be HIIT workouts, Metcon workouts, sprints, or Maybe it's some lighter cardio, maybe some body weight work, uh, workouts, maybe it's walking, right? All of those things can be tailored for the individual without having to be a personal trainer. But then you could partner with a personal trainer. Or if you're a personal trainer and you become a health coach, even better, because then you have a lot more at your disposal in order to be able to create more well-rounded programs. You've got the nutrition, you've got the exercise, you've got the health coaching component. So Better to tailor a program for them. No need to do HIIT workouts if a person hasn't even walked up, work, worked up to walking seven to 10,000 steps a day. All right, a good health coach is going to be able to help people lose weight the healthy and natural way. And I'll tell you right now, if you're looking to improve your hormones, if you're looking to live longer, if you're looking to improve your sleep, skin rashes, mood, almost anything, and you are 30 plus pounds away from your goal weight, losing weight's gonna be part of that goal. Now, whether you focus on the weight loss or not is totally up to you, but you will lose weight as you get healthy because it's almost impossible to get healthy and still be 30 to 50 plus pounds over your ideal weight. Now, again, keep in mind, there's about a 40 pound swing for a healthy individual. Someone 5'8", I always say, can weigh about 120 pounds or 160 pounds or even a little bit more, 170 right? There's a swing. So it just means for your ideal weight. But if you're 5'8", it's difficult to be healthy at 220 pounds. Let's just say that, right? It's difficult. If you're a bodybuilder, different story, but also is a bodybuilder who's 5'8 and 220 pounds really that healthy, right? Regardless of aesthetic looks, I, I'm 5'8", my goal as natural bodybuilder was to get to 200 pounds. I can tell you, I got right up to 200 pounds. I was not healthy. I'll tell you that for sure, right? So I just want to state that on the way to rebalancing your inflammation and hormones and blood sugar and everything else, you're going to lose weight naturally. So a good health coach is able to help with weight loss. All right, number four is improving overall quality of life. Mark my words, you're going to be hearing more about this over the next couple of years. I will be teaching something inside of HPH that debuts April 17th. And it is called health span versus lifespan. This is going to be, it's going to become ubiquitous in media, in health coaching and personal training, et cetera. We can help you improve your health span. You're going to start to hear that more if you haven't already. Mark my words, the word health span is going to start to become more prevalent. Health span means the number of years you stay healthy before you die. Now, why does this matter? When we study centenarians, people who live to 100 or more,
They are typically healthy up until around 95 or 97 years old if they die at 100. Basically, they are healthy to one, two, or three years before they die. Whereas general population, they are healthy, pseudo-healthy, no diagnosed disease, through their mid-30s to potentially early 40s, and then 30 years medicated and unhealthy before they die in their mid-70s. So mark my word, health span is going to become one of those words, and health coaches are the only ones that are fully poised to be able to help people find the underlying root cause imbalances, remove those toxicities, reboost the deficiencies, and help people to increase lifespan. That's what HPHs will also be all about. And then increase, uh, in course, increasing lifespan. So if we improve lifespan, almost always lifespan will improve. Increase health span, increase lifespan. That is the goal. Keep people healthy now. Continue then to take advantage of our ability then to keep people alive longer, but in a healthy, good quality of life. Nobody wants to be in tough shape, you know, for the last 10, 20 years of your life. That's why people don't always want to live to 100 plus because they see people, you know, and their bodies are broken down. We don't want that. I want you to feel as good as you do right now or even better and be able to maintain that for life. That's what it's all about. The fifth one is this. If you are a personal trainer, if you are a massage therapist, if you are an esthetician, if you are a chiropractor, if you work in the health services industry or a health coach, you understand that after a client's come and they've seen you a half a dozen times, a dozen times for a year, two years, three years, why do they keep coming back? Because you hold them accountable. You are the person that makes sure that if you're a personal trainer, they get their workout in. That if you're a chiro, that you might be doing some active release or some stretching or even an adjustment. If you're an esthetician, that they're actually keeping up with their skincare routine that they should be doing, but don't usually, right? Same with a dentist. You could be brushing your teeth. You could be doing all these things, but we're typically not flossing, brushing twice a day, three times, like doing all these different things. So a health coach is someone that is going to check in with you. They're going to make sure that the routines that they've created for you, that you've co-created together, that you're actually following through on. So never overlook the motivational aspect and the accountability aspect of the health services industry. I had a waiting list um, as a functional medicine doctor in Boston that was over six months long. And the reason was, not not because I had to find new clients every single week, it's because after a while in practice, the same people would come back to see me every two to three months, and typically three months. And the new clients would see me once a month for four months. Initial intake, then we go over their labs, then, and they get their plan, then we do a follow-up, then we do one final one to begin to wean them off that. Then they might be doing lab retests or they may be uh, developing a new product, like something else that's interesting to them. So I would see on average after a new client, I would see my wellness clients three to four times a year. Well, when you start to look at that, it doesn't take that many clients to do a lot of appointments, right? And so what I share with you is this, is that we all need someone to hold us accountable. And oftentimes, People are willing to invest in your services, not because they don't know how to do the thing, but because you are going to make them do the thing that they know that they should do. So what I'm asking of you today is simply bring these five things and any others that you can think about to the forefront of your, uh, your marketing, what you have on your website, what you talk about on social media. Hey, are you look, so talk about the topic and then say, if you're looking for someone to help get you set up on a routine that can talk about one of these things, please feel free to direct message me. I'd be happy to set up a complimentary uh, consultation where we can talk more about your specific goals and needs and if we're the right fit. 
That is the way to get started. Always make sure that you're bringing these things to the forefront of your potential clients. They will thank you for it and they will begin then to reach out and take that first step. Thanks so much for tuning into this Integrative Health Coach Success Podcast. Three big takeaways. All the show notes are over at ihp.coach forward slash 222. And if you're not already an IHP member, I invite you to check out what the Integrative Health Practitioner Institute is all about. We help the next generation, the future of health coaches, get certified now and begin to implement these protocols in their own life, as well as those that they can develop an amazing career. Thanks, everybody. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon.